Hey, how's it going? Well, I'm on build 16193 of Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview. And uh, they've... Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? When you click outside of it, it loses its transparency. That's kind of weird. That's that it should become more transparent when you click away from it, but whatever. Um, if And if you're looking at this in it's the full 1080p, you can see that they have this graininess in the transparency, and I don't understand what that's about. People have complained about it, but apparently they're doing it on purpose. And I'm sorry, graininess is never... It, that No, that doesn't look good. It looks like crap, but whatever. Um, that's just the aesthetics. But uh, this, the new Photos app, they are, uh, well, I mean, besides the normal problems that it has where you can't, like, I can't take any uh, uh, anything in here and uh, drag it over to here. You cannot drag anything from Explorer into it. You have to, you have to go to folders and and choose where to look so it'll it will you know randomly create albums for you out of things that it finds so in order to stop it from creating albums for you automatically that you can't control you have to just remove you know most folders from it but then you can't do anything with the program unless you add those folders to it <laughs> well you know they want to turn your computer into a smartphone. Similar to, let's say, look at the new, uh, let's look at the, their new uh, file explorer. Um, that uh, they're eventually going to be offering as standard. They're going to probably add more things to this, but I mean, yeah, you get to keep the dark theme. And, and, and that's, you know, it just seems to be in their plan. They're going to just try to have UWP replace everything, but. Anyway, so this is the new uh, replacement for Windows Movie Maker. You have to, you can say create a new story. You can edit a story that you already have. I'm going to edit this story, right? And I had a picture here for three seconds. You can change the duration of it for whatever, right? Then you have the actual video. And uh, filters, all you have for filters, see, this is this is the retarded UWP smartphone garbage crap 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 stuff, the shit crap. You know the shit crap? See this. This crap. Yeah, no longer can you adjust anything by hand. No, no, just select from a, a, a pre-made template. Aren't you happy about these pre-made templates? Your changes won't be saved. You know, and that's all they offer for that. Yeah, pre-made templates. It's sort of like, uh... <laughs> I, 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 ugh. Anyway. Uh, Google did that with, with some of their photo editing stuff, too. I just, I, I don't understand this dumbed-down garbage. Anyway, export or share. Oh! Small, medium, or large. How about letting me see, you know, what what is what is the bitrate to any of these? No, no, we don't want to let you know any of that. Why would you want to know any technical information at all? So let's go longest upload, and then you get to see this. For creating a video preview, right? So it's creating this preview... And then, when when you go to save, you know, oh, it's it's saved it saved it right here. Well, it sh this is the point when it should have taken a while, but they want to do things in the wrong order because you know, smartphone, 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 mobile device, smartphone. It's just the the, the name of the game. Let's do things in the wrong order. And if you go to view it in File Explorer. And you go to look at the properties of it. And they're thinking that, yes, uh, yes, 8, 8 is just some huge file. It's just huge, right? 
Let's check to see what the original file was. Let's let's look at that. Um, where is it? Okay. Details. See, the, the original was at recorded around ten. So, you can't even export at a decent rate. Eight is crap, and and um. They converted it to 30 frames a second. It was originally a 60 frames a second. So you have no options. You can't choose what type of file. Um, you can't adjust the white balance or color anything by hand. You're supposed to use pre-designed templates. And this is Microsoft's idea of improvements. And this is what they want people to use instead of Windows Movie Maker. Yeah, Microsoft, this is garbage. And I also, you know, I've been reading about how uh, they're planning on releasing Office for Windows Store, a full, full-fledged version of Office for Windows Store. But they also say that it's not, that it's not a UWP app. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, um, <laughs> you're pushing all this UWP stuff, and then you can't even release Office for it because it can't do what people need. You know, simple things like having more than one of them, you know, running at the same time. Well, then again, maybe they can do that because you can have several copies of photos running. But when you go to their, uh, their like, mobile word, here, let's, let's go to mobile word. If I could type. Okay, word mobile, right? And we'll go blank document. Um... Excuse me, I, I, I excuse me. Uh, no, I. <laughs> I already have it. I don't know why they gave me that that message, right? Well, here that is, and yeah, you you can only have the one open at the at the same time. Um, so anyway, they're they're not going to make Office a UWP app. It's, but it's something you can get at the store. So it'll be something that they've... Oh, look, we we converted our, our, our regular desktop app to be able to be something you can get at the store. Oh, that's great, Microsoft. So this, this platform that you're pushing in everyone's face still isn't going to be something that supports Office. God. You're just, you're just wanting to... See, and what I'm reading about Microsoft more and more is they want... See, they're, <laughs> I, I just can't believe this is what they want to do. It's just like, what are you doing, Microsoft? What are you doing? And they're pushing this thing of, well, okay, they weren't able to get Windows 10 to be very successful on mobile. They weren't able to get UWP very successful on mobile. So what they're trying to do is make it so that they want UWP to be the image that people have in their heads now of Windows for desktop so later they can reintroduce uh, you know, uh, Windows 10 for mobile again. They, it seems like they're doing all this so they can try to push mobile again. And it's like, Microsoft, this, this is going to fail. This is stupid, Microsoft. This is stupid. These big plans they seem to have right now, most of them, like, like when it comes to what they can do with businesses, like what I said in an earlier video, you know, yeah, let's, let's have a bunch of people doing data entry for, for things like, oh, a hose. Yes, uh, do data entry, have the camera make sure it looks at it so it can recognize that hose. Uh, no, sorry, it's that, no. We're going to make the workplace safer. Uh, no, no, you're not. You're not. You have these huge plans. It's, you, it's nice that they're being a kind of creative, but their overall plan will fail. And it seems that 
the, the only the only way they're going to eventually have left in the end to get people to switch to UWP is to force the issue is to make it so some things on the desktop won't work I just they are so what's it, they're so lost they're so clueless as to what people seem to want um and i know that you know there's a lot of complaining about companies not willing to take a chance but this is something that's already proven to be a failure microsoft this is proven to be a failure people don't like uwp apps very much but you're continuing to push it and you think this is going to be you you think people want to downgrade their computers they want to turn their computers into smartphones no microsoft fuck you i like my desktop machine i like the functionality of this i like having preferences i like having options okay i like it okay UWP gives fewer options than Mac OS X. UWP gives about as many options as iOS. Okay? I'm not turning my goddamn desktop computer into something with the functionality of iOS. No, Microsoft. The answer is no. No.